Good morning, welcome, welcome everybody. Welcome to my channel, my name is Chrissy, and today I'm gonna to be giving you a prediction reading for the 20th of March. Now, welcome anybody new to my channel. Um, I've got a lot of new subscribers, so welcome everybody here. Please, if you are considering subscribing, hit the bell notification so you know my videos pop up. Hit those like buttons, guys, and please feel free to comment down below. We chat to each other here, because it's nice to know what's really going on in uh, different countries, because we come from a lot of different parts around the world, because we don't see it on mainstream media, as we uh, know <laughs> from the past few years, we do get very limited information about the truth given to us on mainstream media. Cheers, everyone. I've got my coffee. Um, no admin today. I'm still doing my picky cards, guys. Yesterday, did you, Martin? And today, I'll be doing somebody new. So look out for the little viewer picker card at the end of the reading. Um, I am here with my dog, guys. I've got Sophie here and Sprockets hiding over the back there, uh, both having a little rest today. It's a little cloudy outside. Mm, <laughs> so I thought I'd better come in and shoot this video. Um, okay, I'll just close my eyes, guys. We'll get straight into the reading and we'll see what comes up. I'm getting China, Panda. Um, I'm getting Panda's planning its big takeover. Uh, they're getting very strong. Their presence is being felt in a lot of countries globally. They're really starting to get their claws in now. I keep saying that Panda's the one that wants to be on the world stage of global domination. Well, they're starting to get their little mitts on a lot of little countries now. And they're really digging their claws in. Um, they're getting hold China's really growing in its superpower, I hate to say it. Um, we know that it's happening in Oz, and I'm sure it's happening in a lot of other places as well. Um, well, it would definitely be Canada. <laughs> Someone was say <coughs> a video popped up yesterday actually about Ottawa protests. Let us know if anything's happening there, guys. That'd be just brilliant, wouldn't it, if Canada stood up? So I am getting this now that um, Panda's starting to take over the world we knew that was always their plan they always wanted to be the superpower on the world stage well he's zipping is doing a great job um it's almost like saying he's been gifted countries like he's been gifted islands gifted little countries um it's being handed to zipping on a silver platter i reckon elbow is one of them that's handing australia over to zipping um i have no doubt at all selling us off How's your own leaders? Sorry, guys. <laughs> Australians are sick of this. Um, we're being kept in the dark down under too, but I do feel like China's, um, China, oh, elbows selling a lot of Australia off to China. All right. <laughs> I'm getting, of course I am. The gift that keeps on giving. The immortal CV virus just doesn't end, guys. It's still going on. It's still going around. Um, I'm getting that song, round and round it goes, nobody knows, whatever that song is. Well, it's just going around and around and around. The immortal CV virus continues, guys. Might get a new name for it, of course. This is always a new variant. They have to reinvent it to make it sound interesting because if it was the same old name, I can't even remember the names. Oh, there's been that many names hasn't there guys so they have to keep reinventing it to make it sound interesting and people are sick of the cv virus guys it's just becoming like a bad joke people are actually seeing it as such a big joke now that whole scare campaign people aren't taking it very seriously even people who actually um took it seriously in the beginning as we know with them waking up they're not taking it seriously because people have got other problems now, such as cost of living, uh, how they're going to keep a roof over their head, how they're going to eat tonight, etc., etc. Many other things come to mind. Uh, how you're going to run your car, blah, blah, blah. The list goes on. So I'm getting that. So people aren't interested in the whole hmm, complying to the CV virus garbage bs and lies and as people are starting to wake up to now they were lied to about it all pretty much anyway um so that's where we're at we've got the cv virus going around and around yet again with a nice they're going to come up with another nice new variant name oh. <laughs> 
It's just endless, isn't it, guys? All right. Oh, I'm just kidding. This week I've had tired energy, guys. I'm get, I'm getting people are very tired. People are very tired of the cost of living crisis. This is taking a toll on everybody now. God, even us guys, we're not immune to these things. Um, just because we see it coming, it means it helps us because we can prepare. But I'm feeling that people are exhausted. They're run down. They're tired. It's all the thinking. I keep saying it's all this thinking that they have to do. They have to think all the time. Um, how am I going to navigate this? Um, when's this shit going to end, basically? Um, have I got anything for a rainy day? Remember I keep saying to you guys, everything is starting to change in people's lives now. Like I said, they can hardly afford their coffees. They can't go to coffee shops like they did. Restaurants. The theatre's closing down. The cinema in my town. It's a total disaster. Uh, everything's starting to really take effect this year. Financially, people just and it, well, the other one was going on holidays. People can't even look forward to a nice, beautiful holiday anymore um, because that's way out of their budget. So these things are causing people to carry more. I'm getting like stress in the jaw. People are getting much more stressed now. Actually, someone posted something, someone here, a girl that I know posted something that she was in Woolies yesterday. And one of the customers completely lost their shit on the young girl serving and they had her, ended up having her in tears because she made a mistake. And he had her in tears and everything. But like we know on this channel, it's never about the mistake or the cashier or the person in front of them. They're just in their anger beast mode, waking up and taking everything out on innocent people. Um, all the Karens, is it is it Kens? What do they call them? The Karens and Kens, we could say Ken. Kens of the world are... Uh, blowing up and exploding pretty much at anything that they get the opportunity to do this um and there's going to be more of this so that was on facebook here yesterday not that i do facebook or we call it fake book very much but luckily I, I do get guided sometimes to jump on and then it ended up being someone's birthday so i could send them a nice birthday wish so sometimes the guides do guide us there for reasons don't they guys so we've got more people in their anger beast mode because they're really let's face it not coping this this current world event of financial crisis is destroying people's lives and overwhelming them. All right. God, they keep giving me... We're back in Germany and I'm getting the Berlin Wall. But I keep getting, and I keep saying to you guys, it's the German little people, peasants and Lego people that are rebuilding the wall. But it's not it's not the same as the Berlin Wall where it separates east from west. This is a Berlin Wall between government and people. The people are still building this wall, guys. It's so good because it means when the wall goes up, wall goes up and it's really thick. The government can't get to the little people. So I'm still seeing these walls being built by the little people in Germany. It's so good. Oh, they're strong over there, those little German people. It's unreal. So I'm seeing that the wall's still being built. They're still holding out their government. Oh, we've had that nearly every day this week. It's so good. Okay. I keep getting it, so I have to say it. I'm getting vast numbers standing up in UK. Obviously, England, because you would think that would be where people would band together, join together. I'm still seeing it coming, guys. People rising up in England. See, oh, if you think about England at the moment, right, we've got the sushi circus debacle going on uh, behind closed doors. And some of you were saying Obama came out of 10 Downing Street. Maybe that was the document or he had to get permission off Obama. Remember we were talking about it yesterday, sushi? which is Rishi Shunak, if you are new. Um, so she's 10 Downing Street. Yeah, you've got to have Obama coming out the door. Like, this cannot be good at all, guys, can it? How can that be nothing? Uh, it can't. So I'm getting that about UK. See, and this is what's happening. The little people and peasants, Lego people in UK, England, etc. they've had enough. They're tired. They're exhausted. Sushi keeps pushing hard and he's keeping going, keeping going. He's going to come out with a lot very soon. I keep saying, April, you might get these stand-ups, fight-backs. Um, I am getting that. 
Um, I'm getting, hang on a minute. But I'm also getting that it's, um, everything feels really catastrophic in the UK at the moment. And, and definitely about the finance, but it's this climate crisis that's like this big dark cloud over the land as well. I'm getting that for the UK. They're using the climate crisis to really push their agenda and people are starting to see it now, where it's going, where it's heading. Um, there's a lot of questions, why are they doing this? Um, I'm still seeing in, in UK, I'm getting this collapsing of the royals. The royals, look, we know the royals have had to do a bit of rebranding. We know they've been working hard at getting all the drama, like the, we call them the Royal Kardashians here, because there's more drama than the actual Kardashians reality show. Um, they're really trying to market themselves, but it it's kind of could almost be backfiring in a way, because now people feel like after the Kate fiasco photo, and, well, I still question that Kate and will live in the markets. That did not look like Kate at all. She never carries on like that. Will had his head down. Got to wonder, are these doppelgangers? Was it real? They can feed us any old garbage we wouldn't even know because people fall for it every time. Um, it's not hard to do. Is it just superimpose like a head on something and say TMZ got it? Like if you say TMZ, then everyone believes it. You know, it's trickery. And these mobs, remember, work in conjunction with the rules because don't the rules approve a lot of the paparazzi? I think the rules ring them sometimes to get caught on camera, don't they? A lot of the celebrities do. Um, are you right, Spocky? Good boy. Um, so that's what I'm getting. But I feel like now, um, well, people are frustrated with the royals. But th this is what I'm saying. I feel like the, the interest in the royals is really waning now. Like, people don't care. Basically, people don't care. See, all these media, and mainstream media, TV shows, all this crap... They keep feeding, feeding, feeding this narrative, the royal narrative, but people aren't interested. People want to know what the hell is going to change in their lives. They don't care what Prince Harry ate for breakfast. Um, they care about what's going to happen with their life and can they even pay for their effing breakfast, excuse the French, but that's pretty much where people's heads are at. So they're, they're kind of getting frustrated by the royals now and all the nonsense and drama that they keep Oh, they keep feeding everybody. It's all about nothing. It's it's the oh, I'm getting much ado about nothing. Wasn't there a movie about that? <laughs> I'm getting much ado about nothing, really. Like, ha has Chucky got cancer? Has Kate even had an operation? Did Will have an affair? Like, it goes on and on and on. And it is turning into the dreary days of our lives, bold and the beautiful, young and the restless, um, repetitive drama that's what it's turning into it's just like watching an old soap opera reruns that's what i'm getting for the the rural kardashians they're not really keeping it real because really they've been keeping it fake it's like a bit of fake world going on there like what's real what isn't real why are they hiding everything and being all mysterious um a lot of this feels a bit fake to people um, people want realness. They want depth of character. And the royals, well, we know Chucky is not showing it. And Camilla, <laughs> I told you about her having her own Barbie doll, the queen, the Camilla the queen Barbie doll. <laughs> oh, my God. Anyway, I'm just getting this, that people want real stuff. They want, they want genuine people to represent the royals. And at the moment, it feels like, they're showing me just a heap of, like, cardboard cutout people. You know how you'd see a display in a window or, you know, something you'd see in a movie theatre where you have the cutout person, like, say, The Rock or Arnold Schwarzenegger or something just as a cardboard cutout? <laughs> well, that's what I'm getting. The Royal Kardashians just look like, to a lot of people, cardboard cutouts that have no character, no personality. They're just, like, 3D that's how the Royal Kardashians are being viewed by a lot of people now. Just, you could turn them sideways and there's no depth to them. That's what I'm getting. All right. Oh, the poor old Royals. They've worked so hard on their new marketing, um, <laughs> of, of marketing themselves moving forward, but it's not really working. People are just getting annoyed by it. I guess it's all the timing, isn't it, guys? When people's lives are going down the drain, and you're living your opulent, crazy, wealthy lives, um, it does tend to kind of 
rub people up the wrong way. All right, let's keep going. I'm getting Egypt. Mm, it's showing me the pyramids. I'm getting Egypt. Um, and they're showing me people like sitting on the pyramids. Um, you right, Soph? Oh, she's gone down on the ground. Um, they're showing me people like sitting on the pyramids, but they've got binoculars and they're observing. So this could be around, of course, protection of their countries and not having all the immigrants come across and all this kind of thing, obviously. But I am getting Egypt's really protecting its borders, its oh, gates. Um, I feel like they're really on high alert in Egypt. Um, they've got the binocular sort of, well, what would you call them? Kind of spies, um, keeping an eye on everything. Not really spies, that's probably not the word. Um, sn not snipers, <laughs> what are they? Not snipers, but the ones keeping a lookout. I feel like they've really upped the, um, their game in Egypt. They're very, very protective of their mm, country being, it's saying invaded. Invaded and overtaken by, well, they would be immigrants, aren't they? So you can understand that because everybody would be trying to mass exit, wouldn't they? Um, so I am getting a lot of... A lot of safeguarding of Egypt is what I'm getting, naturally. I'm getting this message. It's from a show I watched the other night, actually, guys, from Millie Bobby Brown's in this new movie. I don't know if you've seen it called Damsel, and it's about her and this dragon virtually. Um, I don't want to give too much away in case you haven't seen it. It's on Netflix, guys, and it's very, very good, and it's got a great ending. I'm trying to tell you without giving too much away, but basically there's meaning in that that movie. Um and, and the only thing I'm going to say to you, because I don't want to give the away in case you go and watch it because it's very, very good, is um, break the cycles is the message I'm getting from that movie. Break the cycles. But this is, this is a representation of us. See, we have learned in the past few years we've had to become the bigger person and break the cycles. Um, we've had to break away and move away from people. We've had to stay strong in our truth and our power is showing us slamming our sword down. You know how I say we stabilize ourselves and put our sword in the ground? I am getting this energy. We have to continue to keep doing this. Um, and, and it also could be about breaking old habits, breaking old cycles, um, making sure we maintain our position of stability again. Um, I am getting that for us. So this is kind of the message in the movie is to break the cycles. Because it's very easy. It's like Groundhog Day. A lot of people who are probably waking up still feel like they're in Groundhog Day, particularly, I would say, around the jab wheel event. Um, it just keeps going on and on. But there comes a point where they have to just, like, well, put down their sword or um, find their own their strength. And that's what I'm getting. I'm getting this song. That's why it's hard for me to talk sometimes, guys, because they've got music in my head. I'm getting this song by Australian Call, which is an Aussie band. Um, it's Don't Be So Reckless. Throw down your guns. Don't be so reckless. I'm just getting that song for some reason, but it's about throwing down your guns, people throwing down their swords. Um, and this is about... Um, the people waking up. It's not about us. It's about the people waking up and, and them learning and finding their own stability as well. We've already found our stability, guys. I'm just getting that sword in the ground for us again. We're just standing like leaning on our sword. But that's the message from this movie. Break the cycles. Um, and, and again, it gets back to don't be scared of change, guys. So go check out that movie, Damsel, if you haven't seen it. Hey, what about that song yesterday by Bette Midler, The Rose? That was interesting. If you go check out the words in that, even this, even the the um, song from Strictly Ballroom, the movie, the Aussie movie I was telling you about, um, "Love Is in the Air." Go listen to the words of that song. It's exactly what we're going through, guys. 
every sight and every sound. It's amazing sometimes how that songs come up, isn't it? But that Mid Bette Midler one I haven't heard forever, have you guys? The Rose. Mm. That, that's an interesting um, song that the words are very interesting in that. Okay, let's keep going. And the guides are saying to us guys, don't shy away from the things that really bring you to life. Keep your energy up. Um, keep flowing. Keep defining your path forward. Um, make sure you're evolving nicely. You're, well, we keep getting learning new things. You're not afraid to step forward into your, well, it's saying new life. See, we're moving a lot this year. We're moving into our new, um, our new level of spirituality. We keep, we keep calling it our, well, we call it, we're doing our spiritual master's degree is what the guides keep calling it. But we're really, really, um, I would say we're not fluctuating much anymore between 3D and 5D. I'd say we live in the 3D, but our vibrational frequency is now on the 5D. We don't fluctuate a lot now. We really have learned, and we're going to learn more and more this year to live from the 5D. We're going to live much, much more from our sensory, um, intuitive, spiritual place of the 5D. That's going to become very, very highlighted to us this year. We're going to start, like I said, like the Medusa with all the snakes the other day, we're going to start hearing a lot more. Someone was telling me how snakes actually smell with their tongue. <laughs> That's so weird, isn't it? Maybe it's true, I don't know. But we have shed our skin a lot like the old snakes. <laughs> oh, Okay, let's keep going, guys. We'll see if there's one more thing and then we'll pull some cards. Sometimes we just get guidance too here, guys. We get predictions, but also we get guidance because as awake beings, and if you've jumped here on my channel, you're pretty much already gone through your awakening process. Um... That's the song. That was what was in that Bette Midler song. There was a line, um, when your soul's afraid of dying or something like that. Um, when your soul afraid of dying. There's some interesting words in it. Go listen to it. Because that's what happens when you wake up. It's like part of you dies and just disappears. And you just emerge this completely different human being. <laughs> it's really strange. It's hard to explain unless you've been through your awakening, isn't it, guys? All right. Oh, I'm getting Iceland. We know it's got the volcanic eruption continuing up there. A lot of changes in Iceland. I've been saying this for a while too up there. There's a lot of changes in Iceland. Um, again, there's things they want in Iceland. Oh, there's things they want up there. I keep saying to you guys, like, what is up there? What, are they, what do they have up there? I think some of you have said there's like... Um, was it access to, oh, it has good, oh, it's something, maybe it's the vibrational frequency up there we keep getting. Um, it's a good communication spot, something like that. So Iceland's going through a genomic transformation as we know it would be because those volcanoes are really wreaking havoc over there. So there's a big transformation um, going on in Iceland and they're saying Mother Nature is very unforgiving. Very unforgiving. I'm going to have to come back to this, guys. But Iceland, I keep getting. Mm. I keep getting Maui. It just reminds me of the Iceland thing and Maui. <laughs> For some reason, they seem a bit similar. But I'm getting that Hawaii, someone, I keep saying it, I think someone's got photos or someone's got some proof of what went down. And it's dodgy and it's questionable and it it could be like ripped apart in court. This is what I'm getting. We know there's law cases going on in the background that are being built at the moment um, about these Maui fires. But I do feel someone's got photos. There's some sort of evidence or proof um, 
of how these fires started and what went on. I do feel there's proof, but it's being very hidden. Um, they're not letting it get out to the media. No one knows about it. Only the people who got gathered the evidence and maybe took the photos. I'm getting that. So fingers. Um, that corrupt government gets called out. We could only hope, couldn't we, guys? Like, imagine having to fight your corrupt government. Oh, that would be terrible. Although we're all kind of doing that anyway. <laughs> we are, really. It's just that we haven't been burnt down like poor old people in Maui. Yeah. Well, not yet, anyway. <laughs> oh, that's not to say it wouldn't happen again, guys. If not, it's some sort of tornado or windstorm or weather manipulation. Same old. All right, how about we pull some cards, guys? Um, let's pull us an affirmation card today to get a little bit of guidance and see what we get. Oh! Mmm, I've got a circle. I just got to get the glasses. This writing is so tiny, guys. Value. Take stock of the beauty in your life. There is already so much around you to be grateful for. Yes, we definitely know that, don't we, guys? We never take anything for granted on this channel, I don't think. Every moment, every precious thing in our lives, we love, we embrace, uh, we enjoy. Um, and not only that, but we also create as well. So um, take stock of the beauty in your life. Hmm. And there is a lot around us to be grateful for. I think we all have things in our life to be grateful for. It's easy to lose sight of the things sometimes. But, you know, even being an awake person, we have to be grateful for that because we see the world so differently now. We're not carrying around all that emotional pain and burdens anymore. It's very freeing. It's a very uplifting feeling, isn't it, guys? Um, so I'm getting that for us. Let's pull a Dorian Virtue Angel card. The angels. Mm. Ah! Dropping them. Friendship. Yeah, friendships are important. We were actually talking about this the other day, how you just let, it's okay, just let people drift away. If you're not vibrating on their frequency, people are going to drift away. But then you always um, drift in people and different friendships um friendships to me to us aren't the biggest thing in the whole wide world like we know like look there there's only three people there we know it's the quality of the friendships that's what the guys are saying to us it's the quality of the friendships you're better to have they always say you better to have like five friends that are of good quality than having like a zillion friends that don't really care about you basically is what they're kind of saying there so we really value our important friendships like I was saying the other day, some will just drift away and then you'll just find other people who are more on your frequency vibration. Let's pull an indigo sage, guys. Oh, they look like some sort of Australian plant or something, don't they? Germination, spinning surf, Sufi. With the next favour you receive, radiate thankfulness far beyond the known. Which is kind of interesting, isn't it, guys? Because I'm getting, like, you can say thank you when you receive something and you say it with words, but you need to make sure you send it with great kindness behind it so it radiates to that person. And you can even, like, go beyond because we know how thoughts and vibrational frequency works. So that's what the guides are saying here. With the next favour you receive, radiate thankfulness far beyond the known. And it could even be... Um, not only that you're putting it out there and you're vibrationally sending nice energy and nice thoughts to someone or something, a nice comment or something you might receive. Um, it's also, I'm getting that message, pay it forward. Pay it forward. Keep the kindness and the energy going as well. I'm just getting that pay it forward energy for us guys. Keep paying things forward. Help someone out in little ways. It doesn't matter what it is. It could be something very spontaneous, but keep 
the vibrational frequency of receiving something favorable keep it alive um, and that can be with thoughts or it can actually be with actually doing something or for example I often talk about illuminating yourself how you can send kindness and compliments to people pay somebody a nice compliment guys um, and and then that can really send out a nice energy frequency vibration and then what you find is once you do that to somebody for example they start having a good day and then they'll be kinder to other people instead of being in anger beast mode, for example, at the checkout. Um, they'll send someone else a compliment. So it's kind of this is the way the universe works. It just keeps vibrating out. Smile at someone. Even something as simple as that can make somebody else smile and then they'll smile at someone else. This is just how it works, but we know that here. All right, I'm going to do my picket cards, guys, and then we'll see if there's anything to finish off after this. Um... Yesterday, like I said, I did you, Martin, but today I'm going to do someone who I think really needs my pick a card today. Someone who's been on my channel for a long, long time, who I love having here, is a great um, voice for my channel and supports me all the time, is you, Jen. Jen from the block. I'm still Jen from the block. I got a little bit of got a lot. <laughs> All I can think of is whenever I see that is, is um, Jennifer Lopez. You're strong, chicky, like Jennifer Lopez. So I'm going to pull you some cards today, Jen. <laughs> You're awesome. Let's pull you an affirmation card. Let's see what we get for Jen, everybody. Oh, you got the feather. We got this the other day. Change. Be prepared. An adventure is coming your way. Now, what I'm getting here with change is... Um, like it's saying, like, be light as a feather. Be light as a feather. Just float with life now. Um, if someone asks you to do something, I don't want you to say no. I want you to say yes and go and do it. Because sometimes these can be pivotal life-changing moments as well. Change is okay. Remember, change is a constant gen. We all have to go through change. Change is, I know change It can be very hard. Um, and sometimes we want to create change. So what's stopping you from creating change? And I'm also getting a feather for you, but it's got to have red on it. It's got to have red in it or on it. It could be like a grey feather with a red splash of red. I'm getting a red, a feather with red in it is what I'm getting. Very specific. I want you to find that and then you'll know that you've shifted in your energy. Um, I'm getting that for you, Jen. Let's pull you an indigo sage as well. So you got to do a little bit of manifesting to get yourself on track. Hmm, this is interesting, a little green beetle. That's cute, isn't it? Individuate with love. Contemplate how it might be to live as a divine true self beyond the known. And what the guides are saying there is don't underestimate your capabilities, um, Jen. You are a very capable person. Um, when I'm seeing the green beetle, if you think of, say you've got a ladybird beetle in red and a green beetle in green. The green beetle is the discreet one that goes about um, minding his business, doing everything. And he's he sort of camouflages more, whereas the red beetle would probably stand out. And maybe a bird might come along and peck it off and eat it. You're this incredible little powerhouse I get for you, Jen. Individuate with love. Contemplate how it might be to live as a divine true self beyond the known. And what I'm getting for you, Jen, is just take these things to higher levels now. Um, there's no limit. I'm getting that song for you, Take It to the Limit. Take it to the limit. One more time. I feel like there's no mountains you can't cross, no bridges you can't climb. Is that the song? <laughs> What's that song? Um, and I'm getting that song. I'm getting a song for you as well. Ah, oh, there's a song with that in it. No, it's a Tina Turner song, isn't it? River deep, mountain high. I think Tina Turner sings it, but also Jimmy Barnes sings it, doesn't he? Ain't no, and I'm getting ain't no mountain high enough. Oh, I'm getting all these songs to you about mountains and ain't, and what's that? River deep, mountain high, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I want you to go listen to that song. Is it by Tina Turner? I think it is. Oh, I don't know. Um, there's nothing you can't overcome, Jen. There's nothing you can't overcome. Look at that beetle. You just keep going about your business, just motoring along. This is what I get for you. You, But you're very productive. You're a very productive person. Um, I'm going to pull one more as well. I'm going to pull you a, a D Doreen Virtue as well. Mm, it's getting warming up in here. I haven't got the window open. The dogs are probably roasting. The sun's coming out. Ah, there we go. Divine timing. Oh, I have to cover this little nude cherub. Divine timing. Everything's divine timing. And I want you to really remember this, Jen. Everything's leading you somewhere. Um, it's like I always talk about, guys, the patchwork quilt of life. Like when this happens here, then that leads you there. And then you learn from this and you grow from that. And then you end up down here somewhere and you go, oh, that's why all that happened. Um, looking back on, it's just the story of your life. It's the patchwork quilt of your life. And you just keep adding little patches. They're just portions of your journey well that's what i'm getting everything's divine timing that's leading you to somewhere else um you have to keep spiritually growing evolving um i'm getting for you jen you have to start um triggering and igniting yourself again i feel like you've um uh, You've lost your way when it comes to joy. You need to get back to your joyous place, which is the place of when you're joyous and you're feeling happy and alive and full of spark and energy, you feel completely different. I feel like you've lost sight of the things that give you that life inside, that intensity of life. Like, what is it? What is it that like Marie Kondo, the declutter queen says, what is it in you, Jen, that sparks your joy, your joy and happiness? Um, I think you have a pretty good understanding of this, Jen, actually. Um, let me see what I get. Hang on. Oh, they're giving me something like get the rubber on your shoes or go walking, um, keep it's this movement. I feel like when you're moving, you're better. I feel like when you stand still, um, everything's worse. I feel like when Jen gets moving, and I'm getting that, I'm getting this that song for you, boy, Jennifer Lopez. Of course I'm. I'm um, still Jenny from the block. Got a little butter, got a lot. Thing a thing, but not a nut. I want you to just listen to that song today because it's about where you take yourself it's not about staying stagnant and letting letting the moss grow over the rock and all this kind of stuff it's about getting moving that's why they're showing me the rubber on the shoes get moving um get get your life sort of speeding into action again that's what i'm getting for you jen um i feel like too you feel like you're very um sort of time poor for some reason you have this thing about oh I've got no time. I've got no time. And I feel like this is something that you need to work on, Jen. You have got plenty of time. The guides are saying to you, slow down, breathe. You've got plenty of time. They said you're going to be here for a long time. So make it a fun time. <laughs> this is what I'm getting. Um, that's what I'm getting for you, Jen. <laughs> they're, they're giving me the word carnival capers like this carnival kind of energy, like fun. Like how long, Jen, since you've been to like, for example, I'll use the exhibition in Brisbane because that's a good visual that you would relate to. Um, how long since you've been on a Ferris wheel? Isn't there one at South Bank? I don't know. But how long since you've done something really fun like this, just taken off for the day and done something just really lighthearted and fun? I was telling you about the other week how I went to the show with my daughter. And remember, we went on the Dodgem cars and we laughed and laughed and laughed. And it was like a great memory of when I was younger. Um, I'm just getting this for you, Jen. There's n You need to have more fun in your life. Um, but, but it's not going to come to your door. Like they're saying to me, it's not going to come to your door. It's not going to come knocking on your door, Jen. I'm, I'm getting that you've got to now 
get out and start making things happen. So it's like it's showing me like maybe going to a really brilliant stage show even where it's like a big performance that really lights you up like a, showing me like a Christmas tree. You light up like a Christmas tree. When you go to a live show or something like that where there's music, dancing, um, concerts, like anything like that, it, it really ignites something in you because it's escapism, Jen. It's escapism that brings you to life. I feel like you've got to start um, making things happen, making things happen, making things fun, bringing back joy um, because they're feelings that you can create. You can create this, Jen, because um, you're Jen from the block. you got a little bit, you got a lot. You're forgetting you've got a lot. You've got a lot. Um, that's what I'm getting for you, Jen. I'm going to pull you an outcome card as well from Indigo Sage, Jen, just to close for you. And then we'll see if there's anything for everyone else. Ah, what have we got here? What have we got here? A half a face. Don't forget to try and find your feather with a little bit of red on it. They've given you a challenge, haven't they? Contemplate your sadis. What's a sadis? I don't know. Your old stories belong to time. Rise to become the new through timelessness. You have got plenty of time, Jen. I feel like you feel like you're over the hill or something like this. Wrong. You got plenty of time. The guides keep saying timelessness. Rise to become the new through timelessness. Like I said, you've got a long time, so make it a fun time. And that's the message I'm going to leave for you, Jen. Time to have fun, Chookie. Um, it's time to have fun, Jen. Go and make it happen. Even if it's moments of distraction, it's, it's all good. It's time for you to have fun. Excellent. Oh, go and do something fun for yourself, Jen. Please go and do it. Anyway, that's the message I'm going to leave you with today, Jen. It's time to have fun. And you're here for a long time, so have a fun time. <laughs> oh, God. All right, I'm going to see if there's anything for everybody else now to close. <laughs> Excuse the snoring. <laughs> I'm getting that song. Is it by the cars? We've had it before. Can't go on thinking nothing's wrong. No, who's going to drive you home tonight? Um, yeah. That's for the people waking up. They can't go on thinking nothing's wrong because it clearly is wrong. Everything's wrong in the world. It's upside down, isn't it, guys? So I'm getting that song. Hang on. And then I'm getting that. Oh, I'm, st I'm getting that song again at Take It To The Limit. But they're giving me the chorus like, You can spend all your time making money. You can spend all your time wasting time. If it all can't, falls to pieces tomorrow, will you still be mine? I'm just getting that song. And I think the message to, like, not just for you, Jen, but for all of us is just don't waste time. Just, we've got plenty of time, but don't waste your time. Make your time really productive, fun. Um, I'm just getting that. But that's, again, that take it to the limit. <laughs> take it to the limit without being crazy, of course. Um, all right, hang on. Oh, they're giving me this song. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get to the chorus of it. I can sing it, and we might get to the chorus, but I'll, you'll have to suffer through my singing. But lately, this guy's got a really deep voice. If I could give you up, <laughs> oh, what I know this song. But lately, if I could, all the time. Oh, it's going to me. Hang on, I even know this song. Wait on. Um. 
<laughs> I can't think of the rest of it, guys. I even know the song really well. Will they let and um, give you up? Oh, I can't get it. I can't get to the chorus. Oh, sorry, guys. Oh, I can't get it. I'll give you something else because I just can't get to that chorus of it. I know it too. I'm um, getting on a George Michael song to finish off with today. I love this song though, but I love George Michael. Careless Whisper. Careless Whisper of a Good Friend. When the music died, something in your eyes had to find a silver spoon lost inside your eyes. I'm never gonna dance again. Guilty feeling, got no rhythm. Careless Whisper. Mm, I'm just gonna leave you with that today. Maybe we listen to the words of that. Uh, interesting, guys. We've got a really strange range of songs today. <laughs> I don't know why we get the music, but we just do. So I just share it with you anyway, guys. Look, have a wonderful day. Take care, everybody. Um, just make the most of all your time and, and make it quality time, guys. <laughs> like I said to Jen, we're here for a long time, so have a fun time. <laughs> well, not all of us are here for a long time, but hopefully we will be. So look, take care, hit the like buttons, please subscribe if you'd like to, it'd be great to have you here and please comment down below, I'll talk to you soon. Take care everyone, bye.